built the same way. Man, the struggle is a workout. It ain't easy lifting weights. You gotta curl through your family, curl through your friends. Keep your head above water. Let me teach you how to swim. Life. When you lose or you love. Right. <clears throat> Welcome back, podcast number seven. THK podcast number seven. So, like I said in the last podcast, uh, I'm gonna be doing a. I'm gonna do that raffle. I'm gonna do the raffle on the THK podcast number seven I'm doing right now. So, a little, little uh, more details about the raffle. So, like I said in the last one, about you know, once or twice a year, if not more, I'm trying to do it as much as possible. But we do a little box giveaway. So, you know, I know some. Of, I've heard of some people doing like treadmills and stuff like that. Like that's great. Don't get me wrong. But if I tried to do treadmills every time or something like that, I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, this wouldn't last. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to keep doing it. I'd rather be able to, you know, every couple months try to do one. Or if I could every month, you know, that would be nice. You know, just a little, little give back. So, what it is is the tickets are five dollars, and then just to keep it simple, the more you buy. The cheaper they get um, and what I do is we put a box together some random things and uh, it, but obviously usually mostly dog stuff and uh, we just kind of you know whoever wins we send that out now we have had one time where we had a uh, a supporter who, you know, they didn't own any dogs, but they wanted to support and everything, you know, you can't be mad at them, no. and, uh, they won, and, you know, then, you know, after the raffle, I knew who was going to get it, and I knew they didn't have a dog, so I, you know, I adjusted the box for them, you know, so, I'll do things like this, I don't think just because, you know, you don't own a dog right now, or something like that, you can't participate, you know, so, and, uh, the value of the box always differs, um, this one right now, thinking off the top of my head, this one right now is, mm, uh, over $50, over $50 for sure, uh, so yeah, and, you know, sometimes there'll be more, and, uh, yeah, it's just something we like to do just interact with everybody something we like to do so what I'm going to do right now I'm get ready to do that raffle I'm going to get y'all a little visual to go with it So, yeah, so what I do is, we got a few, actually quite a few in here, and uh, more than half of them bought purchase more than one ticket, so we got a lot of that in here, and uh, I put them in this THK bag, try hard candle bag, and I shake them up, no practice pick, no nothing like that, so whatever happens, it happens, <laughs> all right. Alright guys, so this is what I look for. Alright, let's go to the other side. They are in there. I promise you they are in there. Shaking them up. Usually we go live when we do this, I just wanted to do something different. Sure, I got one. Yep. Wow. Uh, I, nope. I knew that one. Oh, wow. What's the size of that? I actually pulled up two and I was kind of prepared for that. And check this out. That's actually crazy. So, congratulations. Congratulations. Obviously, she was the one who uh, 
picture seven. So that's pretty awesome for the book. I happened. I made sure they were stuck together like that. And, uh, you know, when the next thing you know, I pulled two out and it happened to be her stuck <laughs> both of them. So, look forward to your box. It's coming. It's coming. I appreciate that. And uh, appreciate you listening to THK Podcast 7 to get your results one day. Most people are going to wait until the end. But, get to you first. <laughs> Alright. So. Now let's get into the podcast. Again, congratulations. All right. So, let's talk about being a little more responsible with these dogs. A little more responsible. That's pretty broad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna act like it's not. That's a broad topic. Broad topic being responsible with these dogs. Now, I feel like this is stressed a lot already on this podcast, and that's simply because everyone has to understand that we are under the radar. Understanding, lack of knowledge from the outside. Now, I do feel like things are maybe kind of slowly turning for the best, slowly, as far as the understanding. The problem is how a lot of us act. It's kind of conflicting with it. I feel like some may not agree, some may agree. I feel like uh, I don't talk to some people that surprised me that uh, just now got into these dogs that, you know, I guess, you know, if you want to be judgmental, I would have thought that they wouldn't wouldn't like these dogs. Or they would, but they would look at them as uh, outlaws and stuff, you know what I mean? That just surprised me. And uh, what I took from it was, you know, a, a slowly change is coming now the problem is I see change happening within and it's not necessarily good there's a lot of uh, I guess you'll say trying to call each other out and stuff like that and you know put no salt on the next person's name which is you know I get it it's competition and it gets you know I get it I get it, you know, even when you're, if you're just, you know, you just feel like you got a good dog and, you, you know, your, your dog, whatever, whatever it is you may do is the best in or whatever, or, you know, some dogs, some people just have a good house dog, you know, you know they got the best dog, you know, even just from maybe house breed, I don't know, but there's quick competition begins. Who? I get it. Uh, someone like me. I use that competition in the opposite way, as, as, as in I use that to, to fuel what I'm trying to do. There's really no point to be, you, you know, trying to bash each other and all that because it's, at the end of the day, it's not being responsible about the breed because they already they, they expect us to act a certain way to do certain things, to say certain things. They expect that, all right? Just as they expected things about these dogs that wasn't necessarily true. The problem is we're proving them right with our actions as far as how the handlers respond. So it's difficult. I get it. Trust me. I done had my my rents. So I get it. It's frustrating. I'm not pointing no fingers. I'm not saying I'm almighty. I'm not doing none of that. But I am saying we all have to do better. We all have to do better because 
go into the next level for us as a working, I'm gonna say a working stock to just the American military would just be an understanding from the outset. Alright, so if I say like you know we can get to the next level, that's what I mean by that is an understanding from the outset. A peace of mind. problem is we have we have to portray that role live that role as well alright what I mean by that is uh, to your competition of course they're not going to do as you of course they're not going to agree with you of course you're not going to agree with them and do as of course I mean that's obvious if everybody in the NFL is playing from the same playbook, I mean, what kind of games would we be watching? So, the point, you know, chill out, whatever, you know, all that, hoorah, and, uh, shoot, let's get to work, you know, whatever, you know, whatever you do. Just, you know, make, if you think you're the best at it, then be the best at it. Just be the best at it, all right? I mean, I love it when, you know, I go to the dog shows and there's people that, you know, don't do no type of thing, you know, I mean, um, you know, you got the people you just can't forget about because they're always in the mix of something and you have the people who you're just like, you know, man, I ain't, I ain't heard or seen from this person in a while. You know, I can't wait to get to the dog show to, to see, you know, see his dogs. And sure enough, they're, you know, walking out of winter or maybe sometimes they're not a, not a winter, but you really appreciate, you, you know, to you. You know, wow, I knew it. I knew this dog. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's just something different. It's something different. Those are the ones you really look forward to that, you know, and that's how we all should feel about everybody at the end of the day. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's about the love of the breed. Love of the working, working dog. Working stuff. Alright. So even if you do, I don't know, protection work. Same thing, you think you're the best, you think you're the best trainer, you think your dogs are the best, then keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing, keep being the best. You don't got time to be, you know, calling out the next handlers and all that. You know, what, what are you doing? You don't got time for that. Alright, you're the best, so you're the best for a reason, or, you know, for a reason, so keep doing what you're doing. Alright, and that's, that's the thrill in it, you know. Somebody like me, I love that. I love that because, you know, I have. I don't know. It keeps me pumped. For example, when I go to the dog shows, I know, okay, well, I ain't seen, you know, I know who usually coming with them, you know, you know, them good looking dogs, you know, them nice dogs. And then, uh, but I haven't seen them, you know, I ain't seen them on, you know, they ain't posting pictures online. They're not nothing. So it's like, you know, it makes me want to go that much harder and get mine ready to be that much more prepared. And if that's taken away from it, then, you know, what's the point? kind of kills it, you, you, you kind of, you know, it kills it, it's hard, if you do something, if you turn something you love into a job, then you probably, your love for it will change, alright, so when we start doing stuff like that, calling each other, then we turn, turn into a job, because then you're responsible for your words, you're responsible for your actions, you, uh, you can't have fun out there no more, I mean, just, just keep it real. You can't. Your whole, your whole, the whole vibe and energy has changed. Uh, now, when you're out there, it's, it's more of a, a burden, like going to work. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get back to being more responsible. And like I said, I know I've talked about that before, but before it was more of a dog being responsible with the dogs. But now let's be more responsible as handlers, as owners, as trainers, you know, this as yard man. Let's be let's, let's be a little more responsible.
with you. Uh, again, appreciate the you. More on that coming soon. A lot more on that coming soon. Can't wait to share that with y'all. Can't wait to share it with you. Uh, tips, tip, top shape. THK. Appreciate you. Legendary music. Appreciate you. And uh, it's just everything that's helping support me. Like, you know, bring this podcast to you.